welcome to game five between 80s mullet and future sc it is coming down to the line upper right hand corner we have 80s mullet as the green terran bottom right hand corner we have future sc as the i want to call this white but it's not quite white and also he's got the skin on it so it's it's like a almost like a tinge of green a tinge of green mint mint maybe like vanilla mint protoss i'll call it that on polypoid Real scrappy game last match. There were some arguments in chat which... That when the carrier was out, if they had immediately gone for the factory production, Future might have been able to take that game. Dirty white look is what Looking Noob's calling it, chat. Also, before I get too, de too deep into this, I want to point out a great article that Meat to Bread Ratio has put out on the Our Brood War subreddit. On walling in mechanics. And I'm trying to think about this, and I, I gotta point out, Ops got the squir I gotta get a Squirtle. There's a Squirtle emote out there for the Squirtle Squad. Looks boss. <laughs> Future declaring the people need this. I almost feel alive. <laughs> almost. Uh, offering to Nyokin, who's the great old one, by the way. But anyway, if there's one thing I could change about Brood War, I almost feel like it would be like the walling mechanics, but I'm wondering if what effect that would have on the overall gameplay. Like if that would, if you made it too easy to wall in a Zerg, would that upset, would that make Zerg wall-ins just way more popular? I don't know. I'm just gonna let the banter talk for itself. <laughs> Gateway. Assimilator, we'll see if there's zealot pressure once again. Barracks, kind of the, speaking of walling in on the corners. Right there, but a very quick refinery for Mullet. I again think he's going to go for that factory rush to get that early vulture out to deal with the zealot pressure. I'm almost, yeah, almost wanted to say zealot pressure from future is practically guaranteed. Cybernetic score warping in. This is for all of the honor. There's no money on the line. It's just honor, pure honor on the line between these two guys. The best of rivals. Actually, maybe my... F I'm trying to think if there's a rivalry. Maybe Gypsy and Jayun, better rivalry. But it's close. This is one of the great rivalries in Brood War. Under gas grabbed. Another SCV sticking on gas, though, for Mullet. So might follow it up with something. Factory is being plopped down. And Zealot is making its way into that upper, upper right-hand base. I'm not sure I should speak the words Honor and Protoss anywhere near the same sentence, though, lest I be cast out of the Brood War casting community by Artosis. Cybernetics, of course, spinning. He is getting that weapons range, so he's probably going to follow that up with some Dragoon pressure. He does have a Dragoon being produced. Two Marines on the ramp to try to deny Scout, but they are going to find a Zealot in their face instead. And that should result in at least a Marine kill. Maybe two. Oof. Not a good start for future. Two factories being planted down. And a marine being produced. And this is again where, yeah. Able to disrupt that initial factory from being built. And stop that second factory. Do Delays both directions. Factory is up. Vulture being produced. But there is a Dragoon on the way. And keep in mind, this marine count is thin. And again, providing more disruption. So already, first of all, the marine kills, the factory disruption, and an SCV kill on top of it. Very, very productive zealot. Dragoon's there to take out that vulture. SCV's been able to scout. Still sticking, honestly, I feel like if Future had gone two gateway a little bit earlier, might have been able to win this outright. As it stands, still three marines in the base. Dragoon trying to keep that count low. Another vulture being produced. The zealot we hear dying somewhere in the background. Looks like that vulture. The Dragoon doing work. Another Dragoon making its way across. So it's going to be a damaged Vulture and two Marines with another Vulture right there. It looks like, yeah, getting group repaired, which might be necessary. Machine Shop planting down for 80's Mullet. Two Factories, three Gateways. So it is going to be a straight micro fight to follow things up. Dragoon pressing his way up to try to negate that misfire. Unfortunately, not quite able to get that on the corner. Able to take out two Marines nevertheless before he is taken out. And this is where Future sometimes, yeah, overextends and it ends up costing him. Countering 
with a sizable vulture force, an SCV to perhaps do some repair and linebackering, and a marine to follow up. But this is mostly a fake by 80's mullet. He wants to go ahead and get his bunker down and perhaps get a command center to follow. Dragoon's a little bit staggered, blocking both the ramp and everything else. There are no mine upgrades. One vulture getting taken out for free. But here's the thing. Well, is Future going to go for an expansion? I take it back. I thought with the three gateway he was going to go for more pressure. Instead, going to go ahead and plop down a Nexus. The three Dragoons fanning out to intercept anything to follow. Fourth Dragoon should join it shortly. And a precautionary turret is in place. Wise. Considering game one, game two. Observatory also planting down for Future. Continue to pump out of three gateways. So Future... Gonna end up a little bit economically ahead, or behind, with that exchange. Because he's getting his second up around the same time ish that Mullet is. Mullet's got two machine shops down, is getting siege tech, and should have tanks. Also has that engineering bay to deal with any sort of uh, sneaky counter, things like that. I'm wondering when 80s Mullet is gonna plop down and start mining gas in earnest again. Actually, he's. Wow. So. Well, we'll see. For a second there, I thought he was going for a quick third command center. But no, not yet. Observer is out. This turret shouldn't be able to stop it from getting a good spot at the main. Nice Dragoon defense force. And some vultures along the banks wanting to sneak across just in case Future decides to be aggressive there. Future's natural expansion's up. Still sitting at three gates. He wants to get eyes on what 80's mullet's up to. I like that 80's Mullet just making sure that he's not going for a quick third. I don't think Future's going to make any moves until he gets an eyeful, and he sees a little bit of a bad transfer there. Sees the command center being built, sees the two machine shops. We'll see what he opts to do from here. Has got a shuttle in production. And I'm wondering if the shuttle is just to do some troop elevator action. Observer planting up here on the high ground. Because he's not followed this up with a robotic support bay. Does have a Dragoon and two Zealots and several Dragoons making their way towards this front door. And here's the thing. Yeah, you, if he can get those units dropped off back here and elevator and even fire from the low ground here, might be able to break open this front door. Armory's being built. Assimilator, sorry, second refinery being taken here. For Mullet. So, elevator up to the high ground. On top of these siege tanks. Gonna push them back. Third siege tank. So, six siege tanks in the back corner, but they're having to engage on two fronts. That bunker's down. And the Dragoon's able to sneak through. This is just a small gap. SCV's lineback ring. Another siege tank taken out. And let's see if Future backs off from here with those SCV's lineback ring. And the group repair. Does back off. Was able to... Gonna scoop some more Dragoons up. Was able to disrupt mining here, briefly, but he's still significantly behind economically. Diving in once again, this is where he's getting too aggressive, was trying to do some of that group siege tank counterfire. And might lose his shuttle as it's getting assailed by that. Ooh, barely gets that shuttle out of there. Front door getting disrupted by these Dragoons otherwise. No more troops to follow. He did get a lot of siege tanks with that attack, though which is keeping this front door defense somewhat thin. Pushing it back now. So natural expansion, up and mining. Still sitting at three gateways, continuing to pour out the Dragoon. Citadel of a Dune up. More, more Dragoons dying than they needed to. I'm assuming Future gonna opt for perhaps a third base at this stage. However, there is a Vulture waiting there to kill that probe if it goes out on its lonesome. Future wisely moving out with some Dragoons. Yeah, looking to clear that out to go ahead and take his third. Fell a little bit behind in his macro there and was actually with all of those... I think he might have even cut probes to go for an earlier attack. But overall, slightly behind 80's mullet in the probe count. Disrupted, I think, enough of the economy where he's breaking out just about even. About 10 supply ahead. 14 supply ahead. Is that right? My math. Maths! Uh, the numbers change so often it's hard to keep track of. 
So here it's, what is that, 69? 69, nice. That is such an ingrained thing in our, like, it's just internet society, I tell you. At this stage of life. There's 15 supply. Just waiting for the numbers to line up where I could say it. Command center being built for 80s mullet. Nexus being taken at the 6 o'clock. The left hand area being sealed off with a forge and two pylons. An additional pylon to provide some protection against potential vulture forays. Factory count remaining still very, very light, though, on the front door. Level 1 weapons is being upgraded for 80s mullet. And here's the thing against future is, like, typically, you know, in a lot of these... These sort of matches, you'll see Terran sit back and Protoss just sit back and try to go for that timing. Level 2 weapons or the... Uh, I've seen more of the level 1 weapons timing attack recently. Some sort of timing. Future doesn't let you do that. He gets up in your face... He disrupts your early game, kind of puts you on your toes. And I feel like that is the strength of his PBT. I feel like some players could learn some things. Future sitting out here might be looking to see if a wandering SCV is out there. Might want to sneak a pile underneath, using that mostly to scout. Is going to see this command center flowing out. Flowing? Floating out to the mineral only. Siege tanks slowly peeking their way forward. Dragoons want to jump on this and try to take it out and force it to lift off, and it looks like they are going to be in position to do so. Again, with that lighter factory count, 80's mullet does not have enough to defend both his main and take his mineral only here. Pylon is being plopped there as a preventatory measure, and actually he might... When 80's moves this a little bit closer, he might even be able to take that command center down with kind of uh, some concentrated fire. 6 o'clock base is starting to mine here for Future. Future making a quick transition to Arbiter Tech. Gateway warping in, Citadel of the Dune already in place, level 1 weapons on the way. And again, we see the, uh, so, some additional factories a little bit scattered on the map. I think he realizes that, might have scanned that army and saw that it was in position to do some damage and push this back. So being a little bit more precautious, this is going to slow this third from being taken. I'm wondering if Future's still going to pounce. Yeah, now moving forward. You see Shanks in position, a couple of Goliaths, the linebacker as well. Not able to stop that from floating. Zealots moving up now that those Goliaths are no longer there. Able to get on that front siege tank. Vulture is moving in to try to protect those, that back siege tank line. 80's Molt backing this off again. So Future loses some Dragoons, loses some Zealots, but has slowed down the command center a bit. And I think that's worth it. And continuing to work away at this. Going to do some concentrated fire while the siege tanks... Work up on that that back line. Looks like there's enough units where he's going to be able to push this back. And Future honestly should exit with these Dragoons right here. Ends up losing an additional Dragoon that he probably didn't need to lose. But has taken this command center about to half health, which might be a factor down the line. He's gonna gone ahead with all of this pressure and taken his fourth base in the bottom left. Kind of odd positioning. Weird SimCity here with the factories. I'm wondering what the intention is with all of this. I'll have to ask Mullet about it later, but still sitting on two machine shops, is getting th has three additional factories placed down. The starport's there, the control tower's there. I am curious about these early control towers without the science vessel production. So has that in place to get the, and also the armory is silent currently. Um, wondering if he's just a little bit flustered or what. Level one weapons has been upgraded. Still don't see a second... I'm going to try to hunt around the base here. Is this the second? No. Looking for a second armory someplace here. Still sitting on one armory. Which means he's maybe not going to have... Oh, there it is. Okay, so did did have the control tower. Did build a dropship while I wasn't looking. Probably while that attack was happening. Going to sneak some vultures here into the main. A cannon warping in. And it looks like the Dragoon army. So nothing really happening with this. The vulture is pinned into the corner, able to plant some mines, but not able to get a lot else accomplished. The zealots very calmly clearing those mines out, and the dragoons slowly marching these vultures into a corner. Good some city, actually, to blockade a lot of this. They do spot that stargate. Ooh. One dragoon dying a little bit unnecessarily because of the observer movement. More, more vultures making their way across the map. They're going to have to go through some pylons, and I think future reacting well, moving dragoons to try to intercept. <clears throat> knowing that cross-map position is a little bit exposed. And is going to catch these vultures with their pants down. Well, I guess with their 
What are their... They don't even have wheels. With their jetpacks down? How do they even fly? Because they're floating above the ground, right? So they don't trip their own spider mines, I assume? Something along those lines? Or so they can fly above Zerglings? They're technically... Yeah, they're, they're not bikes, but they like... They like they're like floating bikes, right? I don't know. Like Star Wars. Lucky Noob's saying in chat. So, if they were dropping something, what what did, what did they be? Their anti grav unit? I don't even know. Things to ponder in the middle of Brood War games. <clears throat> anyway, I wonder if that was like just straight up Star Wars inspired. Probably. You can even see. I like the portrait here with the guy kind of like leaning to the left, kind of doing like a track. Uh, you know, it'd be awesome if they added like kind of a weird little drift. That will have to do this for StarCraft 3, because don't do this to Brood War. But if they added, like, kind of a drift mechanic to Vultures, that would be sick. I'd love seeing that. Like, the Vultures, like, drifting across, trying to attack things. That would be awesome. little curve. Another drop incoming, which... Two cannons are there, and there is a gateway. Might be able to clean up that attack. Another pylon being plopped to try to deny some map control, but there is a siege tank with this, so honestly, they can siege... At a distance, the Dark Templar are already there for future. Wow. So sensing this with the drop and very quickly and easily able to clean that up. And honestly, I feel like that ends up being a bad exchange for Mullet as a result. Mullet has another command center. He's trying to float it out. He's going to need to get some troops up there to take that pylon out. I think Future's in a strong position here. He's got four bases up. Mullet's just trying to take his fourth. It's going to be delayed. The... SCV saturation is not that great. Molt's running a, a large bank. He's been behind on upgrades. Is just now getting level 2 weapons. And he's at the 16 minute mark. I assume these Arbiters have been whirling, and I just don't see where the Arbiters are on the map just yet. Future with a significant supply count, and he's really kept 80's Molt locked into his side of the map and delayed a lot of this expanding stuff quite well. So I'm going to give him the slight edge here. Still anybody's match. Still anybody's match. Main starting to thin out a bit. Still no second armory. Char and Booster being upgraded, perhaps to produce some Goliaths to deal with these Arbiters. There's the first Arbiter out in the field. Stasis about halfway upgraded. This dropship might be able to scout for 80's mullet. A setup for refugee toss for future. This is a big map. There's a lot of territory to cover. So big Arbiter count. Try to recall on top of those factories. That's what I was going to say at the beginning of the match. Future walking into the siege tank line. Not even leading with Zealots. Just diving straight in. One Zealot with the Arbiter does manage to get into that front siege tank. The Vulture starting to thin out. But with a bunch of Dragoon goo on the ground. He's going to go ahead and back off. I think that was a yeah not the best engagement there that was an odd engagement from future I'm not sure what the the logic was there that was a well-established siege tank line he was not leading with zealots i think he was hoping that there wouldn't be enough detection and he could just walk it in with the arbiter not how it ended up going though future going ahead and grabbing his nexus in the upper left hand base some dark templar being produced up here just to provide a little bit of defense just in case but now 80s mullet all of a sudden Hitting max supply. Keep in mind, though, it's not... It is level 2 weapons. It's not a fully upgraded Terran army. So it's not quite the same threat that it usually would be. Future also establishing this bottom left-hand base altogether. So Future has the economic advantage. However, as far as pure macro and unit composition, I gotta give it to Mullet. However, Future is set up, and he's starting to build that bank for that refugee toss style where he can just kind of flee and kind of counterattack. Mr. Recall, the natural expansion. Mostly Dragoons, a couple of Zealots. Whereas Mullet was just starting to move out, he's going to have to retreat back to his main. He's not even going to bother to siege to kind of clean this up, though. And basically, Future's long-term game plan is to keep Mullet locked into the amount of bases he currently has. <laughs> DT engaging some of these Vultures. That already has a kill right there. And Mullet having a great deal of trouble evicting these units. But yeah, basically, try to starve Mullet out keep the economy low. If he attacks any sort of... If he wipes out the main, go ahead and retreat and rebuild someplace else. And he's won many matches versus AD's Mullet with this exact style. EMP being upgraded. That'll be critical to stay on top of the Arbor. And that's kind of the critical thing opposite corner for future is keeping that Arbor count high. Engaging the siege tanks. Not quite sieged up. Able to peel back a couple of those vultures, but now those siege tanks in that back corner should be able... 
clear out the rest of the Dragoons, and yeah, with that Siege Tank line established, Future's gonna go ahead and back off. Future's still continually, pu continually pushing his macro and keeping at that 200 supply count. Whereas 80's mullet is still languishing around 150. Wants to try to, so, to deal with this refugee style, wants to try to engage and clear out kind of counterclockwise. Wants to take out everything in this upper left hand base and then turn around and push towards the main. So essentially there's nowhere to retreat to. An Arbiter is making its way up. It does not have an energy for recall. does have energy for stasis. Able to sneak through. Three gateways of defense there, but remain silent. So I think Future might just be giving up this expansion. And instead, I think this was a shuttle drop, maybe. I don't think that was a recall. Maybe these are just, yeah, units there. He is moving around for a recall here. Gets the Dragoons right on top of that Siege Tank. Siege Tank's coming around. Good Psy Storm over that SCV line. And 80's Mullet's SCV count looking very thin now. So he's doing exactly what he needs to do. So 80's Mullet having to deal with attacks on multiple fronts and still hasn't been able to drive into this upper left-hand corner, although there's not a lot of probes mining there just yet. Future City has established the 3 o'clock, is starting to transfer probes to get that mining. His main is out, his natural expansion is thin, but he's still mining essentially at WoW. Again, practically every base except for the 11 o'clock here and the 9 o'clock here. So 80's Mullet well behind in the overall macro game. But again, it'll come down to keeping that Arbiter count high and those recalls in the back corner and engagement points. Level 3 weapons is upgraded. For 80s. Has a lot of siege tanks starting to move out. Looking for a place to position. Reinforcements making their way to upper left to go ahead and clear out the mines and take out a couple units here. It looks like a piecemeal Dragoon Force catching 80s army on the high ground. It is now starting to siege up. And now, yeah, it's full refugee time. Future trying to split this army so maybe he can get kind of a pincer attack between two locations. A lot of Dragoons clearing out things and he's going to counterattack into the 12. So while Future's army is down here, he's going to go ahead and try to take out one of Future's bases. Future 80 is just abandoning that base, realizing he's not in position to deal with it. Dragoons having some trouble from that back corner. Arbiter right there and now 80's Mullet starting to push into that main. I don't think that's... I, I gotta say, I don't not like this exchange for 80's Mullet, though. Because he gets two bases that aren't mining, some infrastructure, but he loses a critical mining base for him. And he's basically only otherwise mining at his mineral only. So maybe if he hurries up and takes out everything there, that'll do it. But he's gonna lose this command center at the 12. A lot of mines underneath. Oh, these Dragoons gonna get wiped. Uh, yes, a lot of Dragoons get wiped out by those mines. 80's Molt continuing to press into Future's main, actually popping a missile turret down. <laughs> Manor turret! No, I think that's to provide detection just in case when the, the Arbiters come out. But now you can see that the base being rebuilt in the upper left hand corner. In the bottom left. Needs to get his tech in position there though. To deal with it. Future regathering himself. And now it's a bit of a race. Because 80's Mola is not running on a lot of resources. Again, he's just sitting on that mineral only. He does have a command center to retake a position. He's walking into the 3 o'clock to go ahead and try to establish that. Future needs to rebuild, resupply, and re-engage on 80's Molt somewhere on the map. Somehow stop this army and slow that economy down. Has we air weapons upgrades, which suggests somewhere around here he might be switching to air. Has a lot of gateways. Is putting some cannons down on that front to try to make this a bit slower. Hero SCV taking down some gateways. It looks like 80's Mullet, yeah, just gonna go ahead and walk into this base with that command center overhead before that Nexus is even taken out. And some more vultures making their way across the map, just trying to be everywhere at once. Some Zealots actually able to break some siege tanks at that natural. So 80's Mullet getting a little bit too passive here at the main. And some Zealots able to walk across and get some free kills. So Future has the economy 80's Molt has the army right now, is what it feels like. 
Six o'clock base now under threat. He's going to be able to disrupt this mining here. Keep in mind, Future's still running at four bases otherwise. Really, Hades needs to get on top of this, these gateways and these stargates and wipe them out to really make all of this worthwhile. Still hasn't been able to do that. Future transferring looks like a lot of probes out of that bottom left, which is now potentially under threat to the upper left-hand corner. Is got that natural expansion up. So definitely setting up for refugee toss style. Another recall at the three o'clock. Two siege tanks and a handful of vultures right there. Mind drag into that siege tank. Arbiter stays uh, barely alive as it's peeking out of that corner. Some reinforcements coming in, but they're going to have a hard time. And it looks like several SCVs are going to get taken out and mining generally going to get disrupted. And I think this is Mullet's last mining base currently. Trying to use Comsat to clear this up. Yeah, this is it. Having great difficulty keeping that base alive. And it looks like there's another attack force gathered up to continue with this. And another Arbiter flying overhead into 80's base. Another recall at the natural. And 80's, you can just see on the minimap, is scattered absolutely everywhere. Trying to reestablish three. Is at tw has 31 minerals to his name of this moment. And is just having trouble cleaning up all of the attack force that Future's throwing out all over the map. So refugee toss, paying off for it. Zult's continuing to wreak havoc at the natural. Looks like Seize Shank's finally there, going to clean that up. He has taken the mineral, he's taken Future's original mineral only, and is trying to mine there. So once again, turning into an absolute brawl and fist fight. A Dragoon camp there, maybe Mullet can take that base. Another recall at the three, and Future's doing everything right. Good Psy Storm, taking a lot of SCVs out in this attack. 80's Mullet down to 32. SCVs. Science Vessel taken out as well. And I think that 3 o'clock base has more or less been cleaned up by Future. Has a few reinforcements he might be able to throw at it. He still has some Zealots here hanging out at the natural location. He's everywhere. Wherever Mullet is trying to do stuff, it feels like Future's there like prodding and poking and just being a general frustration. Siege Tank has... Siege Tank Line has managed to walk up and take out the mineral only at the 6. More Dragoons starting to peel out. And keep in mind, this is a, this is only a handful of Siege Tanks trying to defend this mineral only. So an attack force of Dragoons walking into the 3 o'clock against some un -siege Tanks there. Zealots moving and pressing forward. Going to be able to take out these Siege Tanks. This might be the killing blow right before our eyes. Nice micro on future transferring these Zealots up to take out that last Siege Tank. So this only mining base of Mullet looks like it's going to get taken out. He's trying to float a command center here, but there is a Dragoon there to intercept that attack force. He's down to 82 supply. He's probably going to end up losing that Nexus. He has managed to reestablish that 3 o'clock. The Zealot's now waking up there. Some Dragoons getting taken out across that field, and more reinforcements pouring in from this upper left-hand corner. Future engaging absolutely everywhere. So Mineral only down. Future's mining again, but still needs some more SCVs. Is having to halt production or halt that command center that's floating out there. Might end up losing it as a result as Dragoons are starting to attack it. He's everywhere on the map. And continuing to mine happily, those are some happy probes. Bottom left hand corner, the mineral only right there. Upper left hand base and that natural. He's also establishing his own mineral only. And the Zealot's still in this natural expansion. Starting to clear out some turrets. And this is, a, yeah, critically, all of this infrastructure still Still wor worrying. Bottom left-hand corner is still functional. This base has a bunch of gateways still functional. Arbiter is still overhead. Plenty of energy. Another recall at the three. Arbiter gets taken out. There are four siege tanks here. SCV's desperately trying to repair those siege tanks. Looks like they are going to be able to clean this attack up, but it's more mining disruption from future. Just not allowing Mullet to get his economy re-established re and get, in, get himself back in this match. Things looking great for Future. He's mining everywhere. Mullet in a lot of trouble. Down to 71 supply versus 186. This is the Alamo right here. Arbiter moving up. Recall on top of two siege tanks. That's GG for Mullet. 
You know when you get a recall on top of two Siege Shank Satellites. So Future wins the grudge match. Three to two. And still shows that, yeah, he can he can punch above his uh, weight class. He, Mullet is no easy target these days. Great games. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out both of their streams at 80s Mullet on Twitch TV and Future SC on Twitch TV. I am oftentimes hanging in their chat. In fact, if they are playing right now, I will raid one of them. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for listening.